Hello, this is Nomi from Social Group at Heart to Heart. Welcome back to art. Today, we're gonna make a tree. Tree has all different look at its seasons. Let's start it. Okay, let's see what do we need today. Today, we need uh, some color and brush and maybe we need a q-tip and glue and scissors and pencil and pink uh, tissue paper or either pink tissue paper or pink color and and some kind of like hardboard and a little bit of cotton let's start it Okay, I'm gonna start to draw the tree on the cardboard it uh, doesn't have to be too thick but it, uh, I want a little bit like a thicker than like a regular paper. I just got this paper, this board from like a, some like a box. So let's start to draw the tree. I'm gonna draw the tree first. Just gonna draw like a trunk and tree. It doesn't have to be like a detail. Just draw like it looks like a tree. Just have like a tree shape is fine. And then after you draw and then you're gonna cut it. And then after draw one tree, and then you're gonna trace this one to other cardboard. You might need like a two cardboard. Doesn't have to be perfect, but it's at least it like it looks similar. And then I'm gonna cut it again. Now we have a like a two tree. And then after you cut the tree, we're gonna make a cut a line on the center of the tree. Like this. And then the other tree, I'm gonna put the line on the center of the tree of the top. I'm just gonna line top like this and then after I get the line I'm gonna cut it and then after you cut it just gonna cut one more time with a little bit of the width doesn't have to be too big but I'm just gonna cut a little more with the width Just cut like a, just a little bit with the width and then top two. Just a little bit. If you have like a more thicker one, you have to get like a more thicker space. So I'm just get like a little bit of space like this. And then I have to cut it. I'm just gonna put together like this. You might want to cut a little more. It has to be like a this length. So I'm gonna cut a little more. Just keep measuring and then we just cut cut it. I think I need it. Yeah, I just I think I need a little more cut and then that's enough. And then we're gonna put together. It doesn't have to be too up. Yes. 
and then your tree is gonna be ready once you are ready we're gonna draw the tree branch and trunk in the cardboard gonna draw like a trunk and then some kind of branch and then we're gonna do like a each scissor After you draw the, all the branch and trunk, we'll, let's start to color of each uh, trunk and branch. It's gonna take some time to dry after you color. I'm just gonna color the trunk of each season and trunk and branch. Let's wait for the one season and then after uh, dry, you can color like another season. Okay, um, I color all of the trunk and branch after you uh, dry this part. Oh, here is not. Oh. After you dry this part and then you can like uh, fold like this way and then color another uh, trunk and tree so I put all the colors and some of them is not dry yet and let's wait for the dry I think it's all dry so we can start to decorate um, the season uh, right now is a winter so we're gonna start with the winter first so winter uh, most of tree there they don't have uh, leaves so it just look like this they don't have a leaves so we're just gonna put some um snow because like a winter is a, like a snow snowy season so we're just gonna put some uh the snow on the tree so i'll use like a white for the snow and i will use a q-tip and like after like a snow it's gonna be like a snow on the top of the branch like this so I'm just gonna put some white on the top of the branch and you can put like a snow to not only like a top of the branch maybe it's snowing you can put some color in here and there just be um careful with uh, like this like ed edge part so try not to color like the other season so just put the snow like this and then maybe like a uh, some of them is like a uh, ground like I said try not to put some like other season so you have to be careful for that and then after that, maybe if you you might wanna add like a cotton if you want, 
but if this is okay you can do that but I'm just gonna add a little bit of cotton so it looks more like a snowy looking I'm gonna use some cotton and put some glue on the bottom some glue on the bottom and then put some cotton on it If you want to put some cotton on the, uh, the branch, that's okay, but um, I think it's good for me. So I'm not going to put the cotton on the branch. So I'm just going to put the cotton on the ground. So this is for winter and then let's wait for the dry. Okay, so I think it's already dry, so I'm just going to turn to the spring. So for spring, there is not many leaves, but they will start to grow the leaves. So I'm just going to use the Q-tip and then put some like leaves in here and there, it's not too many but they start to grow up from the branch so I'm just gonna put a little bit with a Q-tip but they still not enough of the leaf just like a little bit of leaf, they start to grow up for spring. And then sometimes they will bloom the flower too. So I'm just going to put some like a tissue paper on it, but I will wait for the dry. When you are ready to dry, and I'm going to add some like a flower. So for springtime, you see a lot of a cherry blossom so I'm gonna use like a pink tissue paper but if you want to use like a yellow or red it's up to you so I'm just gonna cut a little bit of the tissue paper so I'm gonna cut into the square and then I'm just gonna make a flower, uh, the cherry blossom flower, and then I'm gonna put like on the tree, like this. I think I want to put a little more green, so I'm just going to put a little more green too. And this is for spring. Let's wait for dry. Okay, so I think it's ready for spring. So we're gonna go to the next season, which is a summer. It's a little bumpy, but it's okay. 
So for summer, we can see lots of leaves on the tree and then the color is more brighter than other uh, season. So we're gonna use a brush to put the leaves. I'm gonna start with a lighter color. So I'm gonna put lots of leaves. They will have like a lot of leaves on the summer and then their color is more like a brighter and uh, vivid. So I'm gonna put lots of leaves. Um, I might wanna get like all over the tree to get the leaves. I will add like a different color of leaves too because sometimes they have a, like a different color and this could be the different color of leaves or like a, the shade because they do have lots of leaves so I will add like a little bit of dark color Like I said, I'm going to color all over because, you know, in summer they have lots of lots of leaves. And let's wait for the dry. Okay, so I think it's ready for the summer. So we're gonna go to the next season, which is a uh, fall. So this time we're gonna go a little. Uh, we're gonna paint a little differently. We're gonna use some like a uh, technique that we call the calcmania. So if we put like uh, some color on the side, only on the side, and we're going to add some yellow, we need to put like a lot of color. And then I will put like a little bit of green too, because like on fall, you can see like a all of color kind of and then we can put like a little bit of brown too and then after that we're gonna fold it and then wrap it and then open it we can see like a another color on the another side too. We call the calcomania. This is like a kind of fun effect when you draw like a symmetrical painting like a butterfly or like a, some other stuff like a, some other fruit. You can use this technique. This is like a fall. So if you like to add, you can add a little bit. Maybe I'm gonna add like a, some like a empty space. So for for fall, you can see like a lot of like a fall color, like orange, red, and yellow. So we're gonna color with a, like a all fall color for the fall tree. So this is it. So let's wait for the dry, and then we will stand up. How does it look like? Okay, this is for today. When you are done, you can make it stand like this and then you can see all season at once. Okay, bye. Happy craft. See you next time. Bye.